Hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And in this particular video, we are going to show you, well, I am going to show you, how to save to the web. Now this kind of came up because of a comment. Let me see if I can pull it up here for you. Um, of a comment, uh, let's see here. Um, that I received this morning from Mr. David Yo. This is David Yo. And he said, Jack, you are the expert. Don't you think you could have given Margaret much more better explanation? Uh, he's very disappointed in me. I thought, well, why would you be disappointed when I told her I always save for the web as a high quality JPEG? But you know what, David? We're going to go with that today, and we are going to minimize this. And Margaret, I'm going to show you how to save for the web and everybody else that's watching this video. So if we're on Photoshop Elements 2020, we are going to go to File. We have our picture up. We're edited. We Everything's done. Okay. Go to File and go to Save for Web. Now, this was invented mainly because people out there we're using dial-up modems. And when everybody had a dial-up modem, we had to know how fast the picture will load on a web page. Hence, save for web. Makes a lot of sense. It's not used a whole lot anymore because we assume, I know that's horrible to say that, we do assume that everybody out there is high-speed internet. You can load high-quality, high-graphic pictures very rapidly. But let's say grandma does not. Let's say grandma has... Um, you know, a, a modem still. She's using dial-up because she lives in, in rural America. If we go to presets up on the top, we'll see that we got different presets that we can work with. And what I want you to watch is down here on the after picture. The left is the original. The right is the after. It tells us how fast it loads at different modem speeds. And we'll look at that in a second. But right now it's 299 seconds at a 512 kilobit speed. We'll go ahead, we'll click his pull down menu. Let's say we know grandma has a 56k modem. That's most modern modems nowadays in a computer or an add-on modem if you're on dial-up. So if we do 56.6k, okay, 56.6, it's going to load at 2701 seconds. Now to see this, and, and sorry about my cold here, I'm trying to get through this video for you, but to see how this loads, I would suggest use the preview button. Okay, look at the height and width, 6,000 by 4,000, everything else we're leaving just normal. Hit the preview button. You can see how it took a second before it actually loaded. All right, so we'll cut this off, we'll go back, we'll go back here. Now, let's say Grandma has uh, a very old computer, right? 14.4 modem. It's going to load at 10,612 seconds. Preview that. You can see how much more it hesitated, right? So that's one of the things that you got to look at. And what it's doing, it's actually um, displaying those pictures as that speed modem is what it's doing. So... That's giving you the, the look at that. And it's also showing you the quality of the picture at that rate. So if we go up here, we change this to JPEG medium. See what it does down here. At a 14.4, it takes it down to 14.19 seconds, 1,419 seconds. This is the whole idea of save to web. And that's why I said most of the time I just save mine as a high quality JPEG. Uh, we'll look at that in a second, too, just to show you what I do for the for the Internet, just to make it easy on you. But All right, let's go down here and say Grandma has a really good connection of 2 uh, megabytes per second. It takes 11 seconds to load. All right, let's go back to uh, a more realistic is the uh, uh, 56 modem. If they're on a modem, it's probably 56. We call it 56K. All right. Let's look at high quality JPEG, 808 seconds at 56K. So you get the idea. This is what's going to give you even more speed at those lower uh, 
uh, internet speeds, more loading speed. This width and height is way too big. Look at the preview. Would you really put this on your on your web page? You gotta scroll down. I gotta scroll to the right. I gotta scroll back up. No, we wouldn't put that on a web page anyway. That's ridiculous. You would never do that. I don't see a reason why you would do that. Even on a blog, it would be too big. So even if we have JPEG high quality, we come over here and we cut this down. Uh, this is the width. So the width is across the top. All right. And what's nice about this is it will keep the restraints. So let's make this 800. So we made that 800. You can see now it's 808 seconds. If we preview this, that's a much better picture for the internet. You can see the whole thing. It gives you all the, all the specifications down here of that picture. You can even take this and you can actually take this and throw this out there somewhere and you know, this is the uh, actual programming language for that picture to come up. But it's not going to work because you have to uh, actually have a path. But All right, so let's minimize this again. Let's go back here. Look how small it made that. You see, you, now you're getting the idea, right? The quality is 60%, but it still looks really, really, really good, okay? Even if we take the quality all the way to 100%, 62 at 56, it's still a very good picture. Let's look at the preview. There you go. So for the internet, you don't need a super high quality picture. Uh, I know, especially on Facebook, I try to upload the highest quality because Facebook tends to decrease the quality on us after we upload them. So if you upload a low quality photo, it could be even lower when they're done compressing it on their end. So stuff's to think about, right? So we are going to take this back down to... 60% is pretty good. I would leave it at 60. If you want to look at any of these other ones, like a, a GIF. Uh, there we go. GIF. Still 33. Because remember the sizes. We're worried about the size. Here. The original size was 6,000 by 4,000. You don't need the original size. You can play with all these presets. There's 19 seconds. A GIF 32. A dithered. Right? GIF, G-I-F. So it's 19 seconds. If we preview that, look how fast it loads. Absolutely perfect, right? That is the idea of saving for the web. Once you have everything set the way you want it, you hit save. It's going to ask you where do you want to save it to. Just save it like you would any other picture. Grab your pictures folder. I usually create a, a folder here. You can call it for web. So you'll remember where it's at. Give your photo a name. My mic. GIF. Save. Okay, there it is. Now, I told you earlier in the start of this video is how I save them for the web. I just simply go to File. Save As. We are going to give it a name here. Uh, let's go back to our Pictures folder. Uh, what did I call that? I call it for web. Yeah, for web. We're going to change this to uh, my bike 2. Now, don't save it as a PSD file because it won't be able to be viewed. That's a Photoshop file that we used to work on. Change it down here to JPEG. All right. This is how I do it for the web. Save the JPEG. Save it. Watch what happens this box comes up now this box you can actually tone it down we can adjust the size you can see here where it says it's 1.6 meg that's how big the photo would be if we just push it out there right now but if you change this file size down get it down to 1.2 get it down to 791.3 kilobytes quality 2 as a jpeg it's still going to look good I normally save mine at 10. It's 6.8 meg, but it still loads pretty quickly. So that's how I usually save for web. And that uh, is what I was responding to at that time. Let me bring this back up so I can bring this person back up again. So, David, that's how I normally respond. I normally save as a high-quality JPEG for the web. I adjusted it at 10, 
and it seems to work very, very well for me. I've never had any complaints. I read a lot of blogs, as you uh, folks know out there, and everybody is always uh, very happy with it, and uh, it seems to work very, very well. So, so hopefully, Margaret, this helped you, and hopefully everybody else watching this video. Uh, that is what spikes these videos to come out is when you ask me a question or when you uh, try to uh, dog me out and say, look, you're the expert, you didn't help her, and I'm really disappointed in you. Come on, really? That's really sad. But, you know, I help everybody with these videos. I've been doing these for uh, well over 10 years. So it's very hard to answer somebody through Facebook on a phone, like trying to type on a phone. Uh, not an excuse, but all right. So, David, there you go. There's your rebuttal. I hope you're happy, and uh, I hope everybody else out there, hope this video helps you to learn a little bit more about saving your images for the web. I know we do that a lot, um, and uh, just know your audience. I think that's the big thing. Know who you are posting for. If you know you're posting and you know some of your family members have uh, dial-up modems, then by all means, take the time and go through there and make sure they, they, they will load quickly for them to see. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed to the videos, please click the subscribe button. If you're not a member of jtclearning.com, go over there. You can sign up and learn all about Photoshop Elements. I am working on the 2020 course now, trying to get that together, especially once this cold gets out of my system and I can talk normally. Uh, kind of sound like Rudolph at this point. But there you have it. I hope you uh, learned something today. And, uh, Take care. Remember, keep those editors editing, keep those cameras clicking, and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye-bye for now.